debate over a mural with LGBTQ symbols continued in Grant tonight. Some parents pushed for the mural to be removed from the middle school. News 8's Byron Tollefson was at tonight's Grant Public School Board meeting and he joins us with what both sides are saying. Brian and Michelle, before parents, students in the greater community weighed in, the superintendent asked for both sides to be civil and listen with compassion. He says that's been far from the case in Grant over the last few weeks. We are better than that. We, collectively, are better than that. It almost makes, makes me want to cry when I hear about some of the things that have been said and some of the things that have done and this that's going on. We are better than that. Superintendent Brett Zuber asking for Grant Public Schools to set an example for its students, the state, and even the country. We're, we're a public school. We're here for all students. All means all. There's no questions. We are here for all students. All means all. It started earlier this year when a Grant High School student, Evelyn Gonzalez, won a contest to decorate the middle school's Child and Adolescent Health Center. Evelyn created a mural showing kids wearing gay and transgender pride symbols. This is a public school where we say we support all kids. We need to be sure that we are doing that. Evelyn's art teacher, Jill Keebler, defending her student tonight, calling the mural incredible and inclusive. Bingham was completely shocked and appalled at the behavior of some members of our community towards Evelyn. Some parents want the mural painted over. The mural invites an animosity and controversy, and this should have been known before it was ever even approved, just by the nature of it. Some complain that one symbol in the mural was satanic, of a demon-like face that was drawn from a video game character. This should not be allowed in a young middle school's um, place of school where they come daily. Other residents saying there are more important issues to focus on. Let's focus on what needs to be done. I'm a bus driver for Grant. There are so many issues in the morning and the afternoon. Let's focus on those and asking the school board to make sure Evelyn's mural stays in Grant. I urge the board to show that you are rational and we are a community of acceptance. Evelyn has since gotten an attorney who's working for free. He says they are considering removing the video game symbol, but definitely nothing on the mural supporting the LGBTQ plus community.